Iran is watching how America is going to react to North Korea. If America blinks and allows North Korea to continue to develop nuclear weapons, backs off sanctions, Iran will see that as a green light to either challenge the JCPOA, which is a horrifically bad agreement, um, or just wait it out. But it will let them know that hegemony through that land corridor um, is something that will be unopposed. So Iran has already gotten about eight months of testing time in that case to watch how the U.S. administration is reacting to North Korea. What would you say that they have learned thus far? I think Iran looks at America as somebody who has created vacuums in the region. Um, Iran is in Syria today because President Obama left the vacuum there. That's why Hezbollah, its proxy, is in there, is in Syrian regime positions, so it can challenge Israel conventionally. Uh, Yossi Kupavasar, um, military intelligence expert, um, has already said that he is worried that Iran will bring in to Syria to develop nuclear weapons testing because it would not be in the purview of the IAEA. So 10 years after that strike, with those concerns, and certainly we've heard those concerns echoed from Israeli government and from the head of the Mossad frequently over the last few weeks, President Trump, for all his criticism of Obama for leaving a vacuum in the, in the Middle East and not taking the lead, isn't exactly taking the lead himself. Well, he's coming to a fork in the road, um, and President Trump really cannot follow the lead of President Obama because it will worsen American national security interests if he continues to remove America's engagement here. The only thing worse than America think it can, it can do too much in this region is when we totally withdraw and leave vacuums for the worst players. Russia um, has done so much better than it ever could have expected with its naval and air bases. Um, the Syrian regime, the fact that it exists, the fact that Iran is now 10 kilometers away from Israel. Oh, briefly, Eric, I want to ask you what that can practically mean. What does getting involved and in maybe stopping Russia's foothold in the Middle East, stopping Iran's foothold in the Middle East actually mean? So first of all, President Trump needs to back up and go back and say, I made a mistake in Amman a few weeks ago where I said that the Russians are now in charge of the de-escalation and, and being in charge of their own allies being in Syria. Trump needs and his team need to say no Syrian, uh, in Syrian territory, no Iran, no Hezbollah. That is an American policy, and if you cannot abide by it, America will back up Israel. You will 